over that way. There we go. Drop down. See that cracked hole in the wall? I do. That's only in this version of the game. That's oh. where the palace is. All right. Yep. So, hello there, YouTube. Hello, everyone. Oh, man. A profitable story. Yep. I don't want to hear it. Oh, well. I guess I have to hear it. Yes, you do. Action to these places for heroes like you. Precisely for heroes like you. I bet you can get through it, but it'll take everything you've got. Eh. Who gives a shit? It's just chain chops. <laughs> Did that hit me? I thought it did. But I seem to not be hurt. No, I did. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that barrier over there is not able to be broken with my sword. Ah, okay. Arrows might be useful. Arrows will be useful. You know what? I can do that. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Alright, never mind. Uh, try it again! Nope. I know how to play Link to the Past, I swear. Uh, no. Hmm, what am I gonna do? How can I? How about ignore them? That's that's a valid tactic, right? supposed to happen. Wow. I'm being really bad at this. Kevin, are you still there? Kevin? Oh shit, I accidentally muted my mic. Sorry about that. I'm not used to this headset. <laughs> I can tell. I'm so sorry. But uh, this is kind of... It, getting hit that much is kind of the reason why I... Pro I, I stocked up on cure-all medicines. Yeah. Because so. I just didn't want to risk it. <sighs> 
I did I did keep a fairy though just in case and I'm kind of glad I did because if I hadn't I probably wouldn't have won against the final what? boss of this and oh uh, you got to shoot an arrow into its eyeball okay yeah I think like I, I said that. this is a remixed version of the boss so and it's only one hit so ah there you go you got him <laughs> And I that's win. our, yep. And then you get our neck, uh, our first sword, which is oh the red. You got the red one first. Okay, cool. No, you got a. Okay, good. You got it. I was just making sure that I didn't waste anything. Well, waste not, want not, as the old saying goes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, these are just to help you see in the room, really, more than anything else. Uh, oh my god, I forgot all about those things. There we go. Oh, jeez. I kind of forgot that. But wait, did, if that staircase appeared out of nowhere, that I forgot that it did that. Well, what do you I'd think the... I'd recommend dashing to get onto the staircase, or not. That works, too. Because... I just find it's a little more accurate that way, but mm -hmm. what were you saying? What do you think the sound would have been for, then? Uh, the door opened? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, boy. Hmm? Yeah. I swear I know how to play this game. I know, I know. This dun this dungeon really just puts your skills to the test. Wow, I never thought about doing that. Otherwise, I'd probably be... Oh, man. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, it's under oh. one of these pots. Yeah. I... Yeah. Oh, it's... You gotta use the Canis Mario on that, I think. I recall correctly. There you go. Now run! I don't need to run. It'll just stay there. Oh god, this room. Oh god, I hate it. This room is a pain in the neck sometimes with the crystal switch and everything. Just it can. It's just like, really? You're doing this to me now? I'm not sure if I need this pot or not. I don't think I do. No, you don't. Right. Yeah, um, but you'll need the. You kind of need the. You'll probably need the. You'll need the bomb. So. No, I won't. Uh, yeah, yes, I... you will. Yes, you will, because it's. It, there's some hidden blocks that are blocking the path there. That's why the little thing is in the little alcove there. And you need bombs so that, because there's a way they'll explode, and you'll. you see if you. If you go back up. It, Go up, yeah. you'll see that that plot's blocking the path, so you have to be very quick. It's, it's, it's real, they kind of trick you like that. It's, it's kind of annoying, really. <laughs> it's kind of mean, but, oh well. Can't you just do this? Uh. Oh wait, no, that's the fire rod. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, or that works too. Yeah, you could do that. I don't know. Let's see. See if that works. Well, son of a gun, I could have done that uh, when I recorded that or this earlier. What's Mothra we against? Uh, fire rod, but at the same time, but at the same time, there's a trick to him this time. See, he creates clones of himself, and as if that's bad enough, if you pick the wrong one, it turns into bees. The bees, not the bees. I'm coming to bees! Help! Oh. So how do you know which one's the right one? Uh, the one that doesn't turn into bees when you attack it. <laughs> really? That's it? Yep. <laughs> there's not really, there's, a, there's no difference really. Oh. Case him. Not the bees! Yes, those bees, I are really annoying, yeah. Okay. Oh. And you just used up your other fairy. I did. I have four of them, though. I know. But they only replenish, like, seven hearts, and you kind of need a lot of health if you're going to expect to survive the final boss of this dungeon. I'll get my fairies back. Or something. I don't know. You'll find a way. Oh, there you go. You found, it. You found him out. 
I did. If only there was a we had a golden bee, it'd probably go off the real one. It'd be like a bloodhound. Oops. Whoop. I think you know which one it is. So. No, I don't actually. I lost. It's the top. It's the top one, I think. There you go. You got him. Or no, you didn't. I thought it was the top one. Oh wait, wait, I think I I saw one of them animated at a different rate. Yeah, that's uh -huh. probably I found it is. out. You piece of shit. Die, die! You got him. Yay. Alright, I think I'm gonna take a uh, short break. <laughs> Go get myself some health. And perhaps yeah. two more fairies. Yes. Yes. We'll be back soon, folks. Oh. And we're back, YouTube. Yay! Right, I have to climb the... Pyramid again, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Insert your own joke about pyramid schemes here, folks. <laughs> pyramid schemes are dumb, and I don't understand why people would fall for them. I don't either, but I was just trying to make a bad pun. <laughs> Bring the hammer back mm. out. Hey! Hmm? That actually works. I'm surprised. Yeah. Although, there's another trick you could do to um, refill your magic meter. You could use the ether medallion to freeze enemies in there into little statues and then pound them with the, uh, with, the with, the, with the hammer and you'll get a big magic bottle. So that helps too. Uh, yeah, the water rapids are really fast, so you have to light the torch in order to slow them down so you can make your way. And you also have to dive to make sure you avoid the spike uh, the spike bar there and the cannons. So. And I assume the rapids are only... Th yeah, they're only on temporarily, and I can't forget how long it is, so... And there's our remixed version of Argus. Be careful, though. Some of those, it takes two hits to destroy those things, and some of them, when you latch onto them, well, we'll do that. So, which is kind of jerkish, really. Kind of, yeah. So, so yeah, you can't just go blindly sh slashing your sword. Of course, I say the word blindly now, but, um... <laughs> you know, you can keep latching onto him until he I doesn't... Can. Electrical. But yeah. And I plan and, to. Oh, oh, and another thing, when you um, when he you get all these little jellyfish things off him, and he starts uh, you might want to attack him before he starts running around all over the place because there's those, you know, those things in the water palace that jump out of the water to kind of attack you and stuff. Those little globule things, I forget yep. what they're called. Well, she he creates those things in his wake. When he's running around, the running around like all over the place, you know, mm. like a chicken with his head cut off. So, so he creates like he, there could be a so you could if you're not careful, there could be like a whole throng of them coming after you, uh, and you gotta so you gotta hit him really quick, even with the whirling blade technique. So. But yeah, these bosses are a heck of a lot more brutal than um, the original bosses versions. I'll they say are. that much. They kind of are. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Flash him. Yes, you got it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There they are. See. Yep, see they are, see they're creating them and then it create see there's a whole row of them you just created there. And they all come after you, so You're talking see? about it like I might not be able to see it. Sorry. I I'm kind of mostly pointing it out for the viewers really, but fair enough. <laughs> Sorry if I sound like I'm narrating the obvious there.
Dang. Oh well, that's why I got more fairies. Yep. Always well, good to be prepared for these kind of eventualities. <laughs> Ugh, pardon me. A little residual from, uh, the lunch I had today. There you go, you got him. Yep. Hooray! Here's the green sword. Yep. Green sword acquired! And now I think you have the purple sword left, if I remember right. Let's, yeah, um, I do. Which yeah. I believe is this way. I think so, yeah. Um, yep, yep, it's yep. this way. This, just be careful, those like likes. likes. Can, they're yeah, they're like likes, what do you expect? Yeah. I, yeah, I had one snatch my shield when I was recording this dungeon, and I was like, ah, damn it. Yeah, this place is a little bit of a maze, so... I can tell you right now, I won't have one snatch my shield. Yeah. When Captain America throws his mighty shield. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> not that I'm expecting any kids of uh, kids are, uh, to know what that is from. It's well, it's from an old timey Captain America cartoon that's really just really cheesy. And I wonder. Hmm. Whoa. That did not do what I expected it to. I did not expect that at all. I was I didn't know you could do that. That's like that's amazing. Wow. Uh you got to use your arrows to break that pot, I think. That's what I did anyway. I've got lots of arrows. I can do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Always good to have plenty of arrows. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Isn't that typical? Keys all over the place. I just used the Ether Medallion and just froze them all solid, really. Oh, you're gonna capture that fairy instead of uh, catch it for your health? Well, it Too has late. the same effect that way. True, but it only to Oh! Magic! Magic! <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that magic bottle. I'm like, magic! Oh, it's Link's <laughs> uncle! Oh my goodness! It's blind. Who else yep, could it, it be? Yes, it is. Link's uncle died. But with a but with a twist. And they all see, have a twist. Yeah, but this is this twist really just it's kind of jerkish actually how they, you have to do this. You have to well. I recommend waiting till he gets to the bottom of the screen, actually, before you start attacking him, because it's easy, he's easier to attack that way. Like that? Like, yeah, like so. Just trust me. It's easy. And, just, and here's the jerkish part. You gotta whack his head back in onto his body. Huh. So it's like, it's like there's a puzzle element to it as well, so you have to really aim true. There you go, see? And you have to do that, and then if you, and then... You gotta do it again when he produces two heads. You have to and hit them both back. And hit them, yeah, hit them both back. And then you have to do it a third time with three heads, and that's when he's dead. It's it's really kind of jerkish. And it, uh, but also kind of clever at the same time, really. At least that's what I found It's a in different mind. method to do the Dead Man's Volley. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. They don't return to his body na by naturally, do they? Uh, not that I recall, no. And now right. there's three of them. Final phase. Good luck. <laughs> I managed to do it pretty well, like, when I was recording this, but it just, it was, like, almost like a like, insane bit of luck on my part, more than anything. I haven't really seen a Zelda... Wow. I did it! 
I've never seen a Zelda boss do this before and since. I really kind of wish they'd bring that back in some capacity, you know, for a 2D Zelda. I think it's, it would be kind of cool, but... Mm -hmm. Anyway, now you've gotten all four swords. You can head off to that barrier now. <laughs> all four Although swords. Although, I would recommend actually healing before you face this boss, yeah, or this next idea. boss, because otherwise you could pretty much be up shit creek without a paddle, pretty much. Uh, if you're not careful. So Probably the easiest place to heal would be right over here. Oh yeah. Well, you... Yeah, but you you get magic medicine. Wait, what are you doing? Throwing the, that in there. Don't drop it again. I thought she healed me. Uh, no, she doesn't. Right. She's just she's just there to give you magic medicine if you throw in an empty bottle or if you upgrade your to upgrade your tempered master sword to the golden master sword and the regular arrows to the silver arrows. So that's all she does for you. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love the Dark World theme, it's so catchy. It's a dark place, and it's frightening. Da -da. Hello, Maple. Yeah. I guess I could buy some blue, po blue potion. Mm hmm. I guess. Do I sound any different? By the way, I was just kind of making some adjustments on my headset. Nope. Okay, good. See here. Let's test something here. Oh, nope. Hmm. No. Dang it. I'm trying to get it so I can hear video files through my headphones thing too as well. So I'm trying to see if that can help. Really. I wouldn't be any help with that. That's fine, I know, I just... I assume I just... Oh, there we go. Alright. Get out the hammer. Okay. Okay, I have to... Dis okay, I have to disable my speakers in order for it to work. Okay. I see how it is. It's uh, me! Uh, crap. Great. Now that means I got to re. I might have to just keep these plugged in at all times then. This keeps up then. Or something, I don't know. Because I just. I don't want the sound coming out of my speakers when I'm recording. And yeah, it's. You gotta fight four Shadow Links. The green one's the easiest to defeat, but they. I've get seen a this lot. fight before. 
You don't have oh, yeah. to explain it. Oh, okay, good. Just making sure. But yeah, he just yeah, they're really a pain. There we go. I can show disabled devices. Okay, cool. That'll come. This will come in handy when I'm recording. So. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna probably do a test recording of something with this headset after we're done with this, just so I can. All right. Not necessarily with you, just by myself, maybe just to see how it all balances out and everything, so... Would you kindly stop using a rock's feathers, sir? Yeah, or the rock's cape, rather, but, yeah. It was only the rock's cape in Seasons. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, well, no, it went to the rock's feather and then it upgraded to the rock's cape in uh, Seasons, but... But in Four Swords, it's strictly the rock's cape. Really? And also in um, Minish Cap, yeah. Oh. And now be prepared for the most dickish of all the Shadow Links, the purple one. Why is it always the most fabulous one that's the most dickish? I don't know. <sighs> oh well. Guess we'll have to just... Yeah. Oop! Yeah, this guy actually killed me while I was recording it, and I had one fairy le I had my fairy left, and by the skin of my teeth, I barely managed to win. I was, I was just, I was going to be so pissed if I had I hadn't won. But I was practically punching the air when I. Oh, you might want to get out of the way. <laughs> when he's when he's holds out his sword like that, that's your cue to kind of get out of the way. While he's doing that, I'll be fine. I know you will, but. It's just I'm just I'm just giving advice to the viewers more than anything really. Oh boy, come on! Okay, come on! You're not invincible when you do that, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that just? I win. got him! Yay! Congratulations. And I only had to use the cure potion. Yeah, that's great, man. You did better than I did, that's for sure. You don't actually get anything out of it, do you? No, you just show an in a, a special ending that shows off all the names of the bosses and the Dark World and all the names of the Dark World dungeons and basically shows that peace has returned to the Dark World, essentially. After, after Ganon got defeated, so. Uh, and you unlock this by beating Ganon, then, I guess. You, you unlock this dungeon by beating A Link to the Past and also beating Four Swords once. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah. That's the only way you could unlock it, is basically socializing with, with other people. Who have this <laughs> game. I had a physical copy of this game back in the day, yeah. That's how I know all the criteria for everything. Uh -huh. And that's also why I said it was almost a decade since I did this dungeon. The, the Palace of the Four Sword. Because last time I did it, it was like... Pfft, like, God... A year before I graduated high school, pretty much. And that was, like, only my second time doing that dungeon, so... I was pretty mu It was pretty much semi-blind for me doing it in, uh... For my video, for my let's play, so I guess this is peaceful. Mm, peaceful as far as monsters go, I suppose. Although I think my favorite little detail of it is um is the uh, little monkey Kiki, the monkey on the Dark World Palace. He's just standing on the top, just juggling all the rupees he got he got from you when to open up the palace. I thought that was kind of cool. Cyclops, he's playing catch, because they can. Yeah, and that one's playing catch with the super bomb. That's what I love about it. So, yeah. All sorts of nonsense. Yep, these were indeed remixed bosses. 
Yes, they were. And they're they're pretty tricky if you're not prepared for it. <laughs> and Moth Vula. I don't think there was anything relating to Cold Stair here. No, there wasn't. It's only for like the first four Dark World bosses, I believe. So. And we also uh, had nothing relating to Trinex. Oh yeah, Trinex, yeah. And afterwards, it's like a quest log that shows off how many times you've used each item in the game. Yep. These are not my values. I've never played this game. Yeah, these aren't his values. I was floored by the fact that this guy who made this save file never once uh, used the Cane of Burna. Because I did in my run, but... Oh it's well. not that hard to not use, in my opinion. True, but I like using it from time to time, you know? Just as a precaution. I can understand, yeah. but I personally don't do that. Fair enough. Anyway, I think that kind of wraps things up, I suppose. It does. Okay, cool. That's all for now, YouTube. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good one, folks. Hope my voice sounded a lot clearer compared to the last few times I've done this with Giga. <laughs>